Hey guys, Paratangs, just having a cup of coffee up here in the woods and it's a pretty short video today. We're not really doing anything, we're not showing you anything other than a new pair of boots that I got and one other item. Now, about two weeks ago I bought a new pair of boots um, from the Bushcraft store and they're called Rogue Boots, they're made in South Africa. I'm just going to take one off and they're really good. I've moved away from Gore-Tex a lot lately now, I still have my lower Hunter Extremes and Gore-Tex and stuff like that, but th 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 there's one thing with Gore-Tex boots, when they do become wet, they're an absolute nightmare to dry out, and uh, you can get all sorts of problems with your feet because they want to hold on, in the same way that they want to keep water out, when they get wet inside, if you've walked too deep in, in streams or whatever, they don't want to let the water back out. And they're not as breathable as people maintain. So I've gone back to a kind of a basic, fairly basic leather boot. This is kind of an old school leather hand stitched boot. And the beauty about leather, and you'll notice it now watching the video, my feet don't stink, you don't smell my feet at all. Because your, your feet really can breathe in leather. Now, as I said, I've had these about two weeks. Um, and I, I'm really gone with them. I think they're great. I, I, I'm really enjoying them. I got them from the Bushcraft store. Uh, and they're a great company. I'm dealing with them an awful long time and they're just very, very efficient. Now, the thing about this boot is if it does get wet and your feet get wet inside, you can stick it by a fire or whatever and, you know, it'll dry out fairly rapidly. And we also have the opportunity nowadays to use the likes of seal socks and stuff like that. So, you know, we can be uh, waterproof and then we can take them off when we feel that we're not going to be wet any longer. I love these boots, I think they're great. I'm, I'm not big on very, very clumpy boots either, like what you'd get with a lot of the mountain time boots now that are they're really kind of created that you, you could be wearing crampons on them and stuff like that. And they're not great for um, stealthily moving through the forest, certainly. Where these are, yet they give you, offer you more pr pr protection than maybe a, a kind of a, a zero drop uh, boot like, like some of the moccasins I have and stuff like that which are very very stealthy but there's zero protection with them so yeah I really like these I've come to these by way of Paul Kirtley he, he, he recently put up a, a, a post where he had a pair of these the lighter weight version of these these are the RB5 I think the lighter weight one is the RB2 and they lasted them for 10 years so uh, if Paul recommends them, they have to be really good, and I'm really, really impressed with them. I suppose uh, the best thing you can say about a pair of boots when you've had them two or three weeks, if you didn't have them any longer, I, w I would buy them again, you know, without question. I really like them. Now, I'm moving on to something else here. So, this is the and I hope I'm pronouncing this properly, but uh, my Norwegian isn't good. I'm going to call it the Yervin bag, okay? And this is the king size one. Now, this <laughs> caught me uh, totally unaware last week. The 24th of February was my father's anniversary, and uh, he died when, when, when I was 10 years of age. In fact, I remember he, he put me to bed, and the last conversation that I had with that man was uh, about going fishing. and. Uh, he was pretty much dead 10 minutes later uh, and uh, it's something everybody else will have to face in life but th there you are so it was a kind of a sad day for me and I got a call uh, from my brother Gary my best pal Gary and he, he, he at about 8 o'clock that night he knew I was kind of having a bit of a shitty day and uh, he said uh, where are you I said I'm at home he says I'm outside and he, he, he delivered this to me as you can see it's a present it's a huge gift it's a fantastic gift and this is something that he knew i'd been humming and hawing about for a, a quite a while now but given the kind of expense that i did i didn't take the bite on it um this arrived to me like i mean it's it's not something gary was using for six months and then decided to pass it on to me gary has one of these himself but this is the king size version because I am a jolly green giant, okay, I'm pretty long, and I need need the king size version. But it was in the box, it was unopened, as you can see, it's brand new, it was actually still in the cardboard case. And, um, I can't wait to test this out. Some of you may say, what is it? Well, I'm not gonna open it up now and show you what it is, because I'm gonna do a video when, when I first try it out. But what this basically is, to give you an idea, it's a sleeping bag, it's a poncho, 
uh, and it's a tarp all in one this is this will keep you alive you know and it, it's designed for very very uh, extreme conditions and is quite a favorite piece of equipment by a lot of the scandinavian special forces so gary if you're watching you probably might watch this at some stage thanks again uh, i'm rarely stuck for words and i was kind of stuck for words on that night um, and it's a fantastic gift that and it's in my color color too forest camo and um, you might be aware of this but i actually quite like green and camo so i can't wait to use that and uh, hopefully myself and Gary have something planned uh, with these in the near future. Um, I've nothing really else to talk to you about at the moment other than it's great to see spring has kind of sprung here in Ireland somewhat although it is quite a cold day today here but um, look it's, it's dry which will, every day is a bonus if it's dry in Ireland. It is definitely great to see life coming back in to the world March is really the beginning of it. You can see uh, the, the pussy willows on, on the willow trees, the goat willows and all are coming out, the catkins and hazels and you know it, it's just fantastic to see those little hermit crab buds coming out on the hazel trees, the celandines in, 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 in the forest. It's great. Uh, you can see the Alexanders are coming up, they're starting to give a little bit of a white plumage and it's just fantastic to see and we're, we're, we're coming into a stage now where you know by the time we get to mid-march things start happening very very rapidly in nature and uh, things are really accelerated we'll be seeing ramsons out shortly and stuff like that so it is a, a definitely a rebirth time for survivalists and to get back out in nature and th th there's, there's no denying now when you, when you go out now that life is coming back into everywhere and it's great uh, so it's a great time especially if you guys are stuck at home this is a great time to get out and about and start seeing the regrowth in nature so guys we'll be back to you soon i suppose uh we we have a new knife coming in next week so i'm hoping to test that i have a couple of other tests to do with stuff like that and uh sure if you need us for anything you always know you can get me on facebook or i, I don't always get back to, to messages or replies on youtube i can be a bit slow with that but you can always instagram uh, eagle Reef survival or on facebook or so guys, cheers and we'll see you soon. Take care.